Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Let's learn English at a hotel. Well, hey, Bob the Canadian here. Um, we're gonna check into this hotel and uh, I'm gonna show you a lot of different parts of this hotel uh, so that you can learn some English. Uh, we're here today uh, at a hotel in Kitchener, Ontario. And um, we're here because Jen has a conference today. So I said I would come with and I would make a video to help you learn English. Uh, but before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button down there and give me a thumbs up at some point during this video. But I think we should head inside and we should check in. That's usually the first thing you do when you get to a hotel. So we're here in the hotel lot. Oh, the doors just opened on me. They're automatic doors, by the way. We're here in the hotel lobby. Uh, that's the front desk where I am going to walk over and check in. It should go pretty quickly. Um, I already have a reservation. I booked the room online. Um, so as long as I give my name, they should be able to check me in and I should get my keys and be able to head up to my room. So let's, uh, let's head over there. Hi. Hi, welcome sir. How may I help you today? Um, I have a reservation under Bob the Canadian. That is great. Very nice to meet you. Just need a piece of photo ID and yep. a credit card as well. Sure. So that I can assure the payment as well. Here you go. Thank you very much. So Shrey's just uh, checking me in. I already booked online, so I don't have to do anything more than let him know my name. Uh, and uh, that should be enough. It looks like he has found my reservation, which is awesome. And he's totally right. Here's your registration card, sir. Just need your signatures at the bottom. Initials by our smoking policy. Okay. Stating that you will not smoke in the room. Yep. Uh, email address for a record and the further details. Okay, I will do that. I'll do the format. It is in here. Okay, thank you very much. So oh, I have to fill in just a little bit of information here. Um, my email address, the license plate of my vehicle so that I can park in the parking lot, uh, and my signature on the bottom. So I think that's all taken care of. There it you is, go. It is. I was just asking how many keys you need for your room. Here. Uh, two, please. Two? Cool. So uh, Shrey is making keys right now because we don't use uh, old fashioned keys anymore in uh, hotels in Canada. We actually use key cards. Uh, he's making one for me and one for Jen. So uh, in a moment, I think we'll be all set. We'll see. All set? All set, sir. So this is your key. It's yep. going to be your room number. Okay. And your Wi-Fi password is on the top. Oh, excellent. However, as, an, uh, as a repeat visitor, sir, yep. I'm giving you a complimentary breakfast tomorrow. Okay. Don't forget to grab the breakfast tomorrow. Right? I will. Yeah. Thank you very much, Shrey. Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Pleasure. Well, I think we're going to head up to our room. So we're in room 1012 or room 1012. Um, I just hit the button and the elevator has opened. So we're going to head in here and we're gonna to go to room 10. Hopefully you can see that. The doors will close and uh, hopefully we make our way up there. You can see the numbers going pretty quickly. Six, seven, eight. By the way, in Canada, we start with the lobby and then we go to floor two and then three. I know that if you are in Britain, it might be slightly different. I have to check that online, but here we are, floor 10, let's find our room. So it's kind of handy because this arrow tells us that room 1012 is that way. So let's, uh, let's walk down the hall and oh, there it is. We have found our room. So as I mentioned, uh, we use key cards to open the doors uh, in our hotels. So this would be called a key card. Um, because it's a key and it's a card. So we'll put it in here. If you go too fast, sometimes it doesn't work, but uh, here we are in our hotel room. Well, we made it. I'm just going to uh, put my suitcase down over here. Uh, there's a nice little spot for my suitcase and I brought my banana. Again, thank you to all of you that live in countries that produce bananas, I love them. So uh, we came in through the door here there's a little bit of information here for how to uh, evacuate the building if there was an emergency. So on the back of every hotel door, you have that, a nice mirror, and behind it, a closet. Uh, this is the bathroom. We'll look at that in a little bit. Um, but this is the hotel room. So you can see there's two queen size beds. There's a desk with a chair. It's kind of nice that there's a desk because I'm going to be editing a movie there later today. A television. There's a microwave. 
uh, and there is a small coffee maker. Um, that will be yummy for tomorrow morning when I make my decaf coffee. And down here we have a refrigerator. There's also a dresser. Um, we usually don't put our clothes in the dresser in a hotel though. We just usually just leave them in our suitcase. Um, the other thing that I want to show you is the view. So if you look behind me here, we are on the 10th floor. So you get a pretty nice view of the city of Kitchener, Ontario. So sometimes people book certain hotel rooms um, just because of the view. Um, they're interested in seeing what is outside of their window. So here you can see that we have a pretty nice view of the city of Kitchener, which is nice and cool. Uh, again, there is a desk lamp on the desk. Um, they also have little um, earplugs in case the traffic is too loud outside or maybe your neighbors in the hotel are too loud. You put these in your ear um, so that you don't hear them. So uh, anyways, there's a nice alarm clock right here. Uh, and there's a phone in case you wanted room service. Room service is when you order food from the hotel restaurant. Most hotels have a restaurant uh, in the main area downstairs. But um, before you think this is a really fancy room, it's really not. This is a pretty standard room in Canada. Uh, most rooms come with two queen size beds. Um, and the price of this room, I got a pretty good deal. Uh, it was about $120 Canadian per night. So I know that might sound like a lot of money, um, but that is about what a hotel room costs in Canada. So Anyways, welcome to a hotel in Canada. Uh, let's take a look at the bathroom. Are you ready to take a look at the bathroom or what we call in Canadian English, the washroom? Uh, let's turn the lights on and see. Here we have a typical hotel bathroom. Um, down here, you can see that we have some Kleenex. That's what we call them in Canadian English to blow your nose. Uh, there are a couple of cups or glasses and an ice bucket. There's some shampoo. Um, a faucet and a sink, some toilet paper, a garbage can that already has garbage in it. That's a little weird. Uh, and here we have some more towels, some bath towels and some hand towels. Um, there is, of course, a toilet uh, if you need to go to the washroom. And there is a shower, but it's not just a shower. It's also a tub. Uh, so you can either have a shower or take a shower or have a bath or take a bath. You can say it both ways, by the way. Um, by the way, if you were ever wondering what it looks like when I'm making a video, it looks like this. You can see me in the mirror here. I just carry my tripod and my camera around and I stand like this uh, and I talk to the camera. Uh, and I think people sometimes look at me strange, but... Uh, Hey, when you got to make a video, you got to make a video. As some of you know, I like to go for a walk every day. It's a little echoey in here, isn't it? Um, this hotel has a fitness room. Uh, it has a room with different pieces of equipment. I'm on the treadmill right now. Um, and it's nice to be able to walk inside because it's going to be 36 degrees Celsius today. That's a little hot for walking outside. It's really nice if your hotel has a pool. Um, this hotel has a nice pool. It's a little bit small. Um, you might notice there's no people in it right now. That's because I waited until a time of day when no one was in here. People don't like it when you videotape uh, by a pool. You also might notice that uh, I have a tan on my neck and I have a suntan or tan on my arm. Uh, but not on my shoulders. In English, we call this a farmer's tan um, because uh, I guess farmers always wear t-shirts and that's why uh, I'm only tanned here uh, and here and not here. Um, I don't often work outside with my shirt off. So anyways, it's nice when a hotel has an indoor pool. Sometimes hotels also have outdoor pools. Obviously, an indoor pool is inside. No diving. The pool is too shallow. It is not deep enough for diving. So if you're lucky, your hotel will also have breakfast. Uh, the breakfast at this hotel isn't free. It's 10.95. 
uh, but they have everything that most Canadians would want. If you look here, you'll see that they have some hot water to make tea, different kinds of tea bags, and then over here, of course, they have coffee, which everyone who loves coffee uh, appreciates a hot coffee in the morning. If we walk over this way, you'll see more traditional breakfast food. Uh, I'll flip around again. Here you'll see some fruit, bananas, apples, and oranges. Uh, down here, some grapefruit, some strawberries. In this, you'll see some oatmeal. Here you see some scrambled eggs and frittata. And here we have some potato patties, also called hash browns, some condiments, so if you like putting uh, hot sauce and other things on your food. And here we have some ham and we have some sausage. If we look over here, we'll see some more traditional food, some cheese, some milk, some juice. And here we have some different kinds of cereals. And then here we have some baked goods, bagels, muffins, donuts. And here is a toaster uh, so that you can toast those things. I think that's the complete tour of breakfast at a hotel. If you get hungry and you don't want to get room service, there's usually a vending machine. So you can see this vending machine sells all kinds of snacks. And then if you don't have money, there's also a bank machine or what most of you would call an ATM. I know in my last video I called it a bank machine and a few people asked questions about that, but uh, in Canada we do call them either bank machines or ATM, which stands for automatic teller machine. So snacks and money, what else do you need? So I'm uh, all checked out and uh, we're ready to head out. I hope you enjoy this uh, English video lesson. Um, at a hotel. It was, uh, it was a nice weekend for Jen and I um, and I hope that you were able to learn some English. Um, Bob the Canadian here. Uh, don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet, click that red subscribe button down there below and give me a thumbs up on this video if it helped you learn a little bit of English. Um, but I'm all done. I'm gonna jump in my van and I'm gonna head home and uh, I'll see all of you in the next video.